The ecological fallacy occurs when inference is made about an individual or an object based off its surroundings. It's also known as the ecological inference fallacy. It occurs fairly commonly today in racial profiling. Let's look at our three examples. In the first one, Thrasymachus claims, My father-in-law is one of the smartest people I know. Adamantus doesn't know Thrasymachus' is father-in-law, so he asks, How so? Thrasymachus points out he is from Athens. Tons of smart people are from Athens. Adamantus, not really knowing his father-in-law, points out that people from Athens do tend to be highly intelligent, but that does not mean everyone from there is intelligent. Adamantus doesn't know if his father-in-law is smart or not, but he doesn't want to assume he's smart just because he's from Athens. In our second example, Thrasymachus knows that there's a new stall owner, and he says the new stall owner is a criminal. Adamantus, not knowing this new stall owner, is curious, and he says, why do you say that? Thrasymachus says he is from Lysonia. There are a lot of criminals from Lysonia. Adamantus points out there are many bad people that come from Lysonia. There are also some good people. Not all of them are criminals. Here, Thrasymachus assumed that just because there are a lot of criminals from Lysonia, that anyone from Lysonia must be a criminal. It was false. He should not have assumed that. And in the third example, Thrasymachus claims that he will never move to the west because it is too mountainous there. Adamantus, knowing that there are a lot of mountains out west, agrees that yes, there are many mountains out west, but the whole region is not like that. There are plains out there too. Thrasymachus' fallacy occurred when he assumed because there are a lot of mountains there, the west is surrounded by mountains, it must be a completely mountainous region, and there would be no plains at all. This was false.